So let's study the differences between natural rubber and vulcanized rubber. So the first point under natural rubber is so natural rubber is soft and sticky while vulcanized rubber is hard and less sticky. So natural rubber has no tensile strength while vulcanized rubber has a high tensile strength. So natural rubber has less resistance to abrasion while vulcanized rubber vulcanized rubber is highly resistant to abrasion. So the fourth point under natural rubber is so too much stretching brings permanent deformation to natural rubber while vulcanized rubber is highly elastic. So let's move on to the next point. So natural rubber is active within a very small range of temperature that is 10 to 60 degrees C and for vulcanized rubber so vulcanized rubber is active over a broad temperature range that is 10 to 100 degrees C. Now let's move on to the next point. So natural rubber is soluble in organic solvents and for vulcanized rubber it is insoluble in almost all solvents. So natural rubber is easily acted upon by oxygen or ozone and for vulcanized rubber it is not acted upon by oxygen or ozone. So let's see the chemical structure of natural rubber and vulcanized rubber. So this is polyisoprene or known as cis polyisoprene which is the natural rubber natural rubber. Now this on treating with this when gets treated with sulfur these cross links are formed this inter cross links are formed and these are the results why vulcanized rubber is elastic. Vulcanized rubber is more elastic than natural rubber due to this sulfur sulfur cross links which are formed between the carbon atoms. So these were the differences between natural and vulcanized rubber. Thank you.